it's early. I, uh, Kitty lost her ligaments last night around 10.30 completely. And I was checking on her every hour with no change, no change. She just sitting here chewing her cud, looking at me. A little bit of yawning and stretching of the neck. And the last time I checked on her was after one o'clock with every intention of getting up and checking on her again throughout the night. And I didn't wake back up. Bad mom. Hopefully she was just really early labor and I didn't miss it. But we'll see. Kitty? Why haven't you had your babies? <laughs> Did you fool me again? Huh? Did you fool me again? Sister. Are you gonna have babies first? What's up, Kitty? You got anything happening? Hmm? Huh? You just a tease? How's it going? So when I check ligaments, I check right here. There is nothing. Those ligaments are completely gone. I can touch my fingers together in the back. Underneath her tail. These ligaments are no longer there, just hollow area. Still no streaming goo, seriously. Girl, I thought I was waking up to babies. Honey, why'd you keep me up so late if you weren't gonna have them babies? You feeling that way, sister? Or are you just like, why did you wake me up, Mom? Well, no babies. Going back to bed. It's been a very busy, busy, eventful morning. I had my farm sitter come today for training. She's actually still here. She's in the house with Ryan getting indoor animal training. But Kitty has gone from early labor to more advanced labor, so I don't want to leave her. Just ran up to the house to get my camera and a towel in case she needs a little help drying off the babes. And Robert from Daybird Aviaries is literally on. Beautiful neck stretching. You're so pretty. You feel that? You feel that contraction? They're coming more frequent, I can tell. It's like all of a sudden she's just stretching her neck and reaching back to her belly. You feel it, huh, girl? You're getting closer. Still chewing that cud, though. Kitty is having strong, hard, close contractions now. No pushing yet. She's still eating. She hasn't stopped eating the entire time. <laughs> but she is definitely getting closer and closer to the point where she'll start pushing. See, that's a big contraction. You see her ears laying down, her stomach raised up, tail popping up. We have some special guests here for Kitty's Labor. Robert at Daybird Aviaries and his wife and children are here and they are doing a live show. <laughs> this is how vloggers roll. <laughs> My farm sitter is here too, so she's getting to watch as well. Back there behind her is Ryan's tractor. Say hi, Mona. I'm jealous. You are definitely at that point, aren't you, Sugar? Did she have a baby? 
If it's not pushing, it's about to be. When I'm positive it's pushing, I'll call Mona back in. She wants to watch. I'm right here. Oh geez, I, see, I didn't even know. You're so quiet back there. Oh yeah. She's she's getting really close. We've got lots of helpers. This is my assistant, my assistant uh, doctor. Maya, Dr. Maya. Are you Dr. Maya? <laughs> That's her talking to her baby, and she'll she, she might scream louder, and it might seem scary, but it's not. She's just helping get her baby out. It's a little painful, but once the baby's out, she'll be really happy to see her new baby. And me. Yeah. And Isn't this exciting, Christy? I'm so glad that Robert was here and able to do live, because my phone won't do live. Oh, uh, she's getting local. I think she's going to get up. Yeah, yeah, she might get up. She might lay so down. She's wet on the... Oh, yeah. Where she was laying oh. the haze wet. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh she's gonna go coming. fast. Oh my she's going fast. <laughs> that was that didn't take her any time. Wow. There's a hoof. That's a good sign. Can y'all see there's a hoof pushing out? That is so cool. So a hoof is pushing out. Yeah. I am so excited about the fact that I have all these wonderful people here getting to experience this with us. What a magical event for Kitty and for us. She's eating it, ew. It's good for her though. It's full of, full of vitamins and stuff. You see the hoof, Catherine? The foot sticking you see out it? of her? Yeah, that would do. <laughs> I kind of see it. I think she's going to do well. It looks like poo. It does kind of, doesn't it? It's coming. So the next contraction she has, I, I'm willing to bet that we see a nose too. You're doing so good, kitty. Man's kitty? Mm-hmm. That's a really cute name. Isn't it? Kitty, kitty, bang, bang. <laughs> you can call the sheriff on those four wheelers if you want, because if they start interrupting my video, I'm going to be. Yeah, you said you didn't live on a busy street. No, this, one of the one of our neighbors has decided to let all of the teenagers drive four wheelers up and down our road, instead of you know legally driving them not on the road. Ew, it's illegal it's to drive them on the road. <laughs> You see that yucky stuff coming out. <laughs> That's normal. It is. Oh, it is the yellow stuff. It You're looks, doing good, girl. It looks kind of like slime. You. A kind of. Good job, girl. Can you see the hook? You see it. Now the yellow, the yellow color does kind of make me wonder if there's, I know with humans, doesn't that mean that they expelled meconium? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What's he doing? Eating it? This is totally disgusting. I see him off the hoof. Yeah. That's the hoof. Yeah, Jasmine, Rose is worried that might be meconium. But why is the yellow stuff? What does meconium mean? It means it the baby like pooped. Oh, okay. That's the first poo from oh. the baby. Which could mean the baby's in distress. But it doesn't always. It, I'm not overly worried. The, everything's going fine so far. So. The roof is coming out more. Yeah, it is. There's water. That um, wagon has some cups and a bottle of water. So we were just talking about how the color is a little more yellow than we'd like to see. So there's a possibility that the baby has pooped. And that could mean the baby's in distress, but it's not likely. I'm, I'm hopeful and feeling like it's, I see the baby's hoof moving. So I think the baby's okay. And she's getting down. 
so that it'll be easier for her to push. I'm staying on the opposite end. Oh yeah, she's got a, looks like a nose coming out with the foot now. Robert, if you want to come in with your camera, you're more than welcome. You want to come around this way? Yeah. Oh, she might deliver right there in front of you, Mona. Yeah. She just turned for, oh. That's good lighting. This warms my heart that there's so many people here to enjoy this experience with us. Good lighting over here, too. How you feeling, Kenny? You still see a nose and a hoof, Mona? Hard to tell. I know, baby girl. I just want to see, make sure that it's looking good. It looks like it sucked back in. Yeah. We need a good contraction, girl. You can do it. Give a nice, good push, honey bun. You're gonna push it into the wall where we can't see you, huh? I know. I know. There we go. I see it. Come on, girl. Come on. That is a nose, right? Yeah, I see the tongue. Okay. A little tongue sticking out. Come on, girl. Let's get this one out. No, don't suck it back in. <laughs> I see the baby moving. So the baby's okay, I think. I get so nervous at this stage because I feel like I want that head out so that I know that the baby's able to breathe, but I know that labor and delivery is designed to work this way. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl, we've got a little bit more of the nose coming out. You can do it, girl. Good job, come on. Oh, come on. And this is at the point where I see that baby's mouth is moving that I want to, um, jump in and make sure that the baby's nose and mouth is clear but i know i really shouldn't but it like my mother instincts say i should Ugh. it's like i want it to happen as naturally as possible but in the same breath if baby's starting to breathe already then she needs to hurry you can hurry girl you can do this yeah girl you can do this There you go. Come on, push, push. Good girl. Good. Oh, yep. There you go. Oh, so close. Over the eyes. Good job. Good job. Oh my goodness. Go ahead. We got the head out. I can see it. I see the head. That is sharp teeth. All right, come on. Rest it away. Baby's coughing, you need to hurry. All right, I only have one foot. <laughs> Pass the shoulders on. Good girl. Good girl. The baby's not colored yellow, honey. It's just got yellow stuff on it for now. Alright. Oh, we got floppy ears. With kitty coloring. Oh, yeah, you sneeze all that out. I can see it. I can see its color of its nose. What color? Um, the same color. Good White. job, kid.
look like, like, I think it's going to look just like Kitty. Oh. It's going to look just like Kitty, but with floppy oh, ears. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, it's so cute. What did we get? So cute. Then it does come cute. out. I think it's a girl, but I can't. I can't get close enough to the tail end to see. I don't see any boy on the belly. Oh, you're so dirty, though. This is a really dirty um, birth fluid. This is not normal. That does kind of make me wonder if this baby was pooping inside. But the baby's fine now, so it's good. Oh, look at it. <laughs> you, get, you get her clean off. I got me a doll. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> so that, that's confirmed a doe? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It takes only one day for them to stand up and start walking. Yeah, they can start walking pretty quick. Yeah, the mama has so to push the it's, mean, it's important to let mama clean off the baby because she's bonding as she cleans. She's bonding with her baby and her baby smell. A lot of people do the um, baby nose things. I don't, I just kind of go like this and make sure there's nothing and the baby sneezes the rest out. It's so cute. Oh, you can get me one of those plastic cups. I'm gonna get some water to wash my hands. Uh -oh. I'll just take the water right. from the you okay? bucket. You okay? Yeah, I just gotta wash my hands off a little bit. <laughs> Could you guys tell I got a little nervous there for a minute? Yeah. No, not at all. <sighs> I saw the baby's nose start to move and it wasn't even out. And, or she wasn't even out. There's likely to be another baby, but we're not for sure yet. Usually within a couple of minutes, she'll start pushing again. But she's... Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's so fuzzy. Oh. It's so fuzzy. It's so fuzzy. I, and now, if it was really cold weather right now, we'd want to get that baby dried off instantly. And I'd be rubbing it with a towel and getting a heat lamp on it and all that stuff. But it's so, warm today. Is it an Alpian or a Nubine? I don't know. That's a good question. What do you call this cross? Does anybody know if there's an already a name for this cross? I can name the baby. Alpian. Alpian. I can as well. I can name it baby. Oh, still pictures. I always forget the I still pictures. I can name it baby. Does that name? I don't. Ryan, you're not naming this one. Why not? I have to tell him that for everyone. And guess what? He names them all. I can't help that I'm good at it. You are good at it. Wait. Precious. Wait, no. We already have a precious. What is the other character in uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Shadow. Shadow. Yeah. Shadow. 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 I was talking about earlier. She tonight. looks like a melody. But she's too light colored. What is the little girl's name in, Toot Sweet, in, in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? I don't know that movie. I don't know. No. Mama. Yeah. Oh wait, I gotta. I got a Marco Polo, Trisha. <laughs> Most important priority is she's pushing again. If anybody's interested. Yep. She's pushing again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. It could be pushing placenta. Yeah, it, it could be afterbirth or another baby. Baby number one is. Kitty's colorings with floppy Nubian ears, and it is a girl. Oh. And my heart could not be any happier right now. The ears are so fine. No, no, no. Let's see. I'll, I'll give you some, 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 a list of some names. Let's oh see. My gosh, I want to have... <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to have. Oh, she shivered. 
forget about the pictures, forget about the names. Time to move faster. Yeah, you just go ahead and deliver your next baby, okay? You got this. Let's get this baby dried off. I know, I know. You want to clean her off all yourself. But she started shivering. So we're just going to speed up the cleaning process, let her eat or lick most of it off, and then just move it along a little faster, huh? Did you notice all the hens started laying eggs when she was pushing? No, I didn't. Yeah, they're out here all making their push oh, she, noise at the same time. Shivering. You concentrate on your next baby. Let me. You want to have your baby. So Let me concentrate so on getting her dry. It is so adorable. That baby. I'm not taking it. She's, she's right here. Just trying to get her dried off a little faster. Okay. You don't want the temperature to drop on a kid. Hypothermia is very, very serious. The video that's going to be published tomorrow, if I talk a little bit about that. Um, my videos are going to be... Obviously, everybody's going to know about the birth now, but you'll see videos of me talking about waiting on Kitty to deliver. <laughs> That'll still be publishing today and tomorrow, because I am three, three days ahead, two days ahead on my videos. I'm trying to be scheduling videos and stay ahead of the curve in case I have days that I can't put up a video. She's shivering too much, Kitty. Is that exciting? Was that exciting? Yes. To what? I can see we need to order another premier one light. I can see in the Take it off the quail shivering. and put it on the baby. I can see the baby shivering. Yeah, I don't think the baby shivering. Alright, Kitty, you have another one in here, don't you? Kitty's Anybody asking any questions, Robert? No, they're all congratulating you. Thank you, everyone. I'm so glad you guys could be here for this. It's so exciting to be live. What an I awesome love ordeal. The baby. You're a good mama, kid. I love the ears and the Beautiful. And the fur. Look at this. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best. Jasmine wants to know how long it takes to expel the placenta. Um, you should expect the placenta to be completely all the way out within 24 hours of delivery, but it's usually much quicker. It's usually delivered within an hour, but some can take as long as 12 hours. But if in 24 hours you still haven't seen the placenta, that's when you can be worried or concerned that the placenta is withheld. It's Big yawn and her hurts. Yeah, think I should go get a blanket for it? Obviously, we, we've kitted in this temperature before and not had the shivering, so I am a little... It is so cute! Oh, she wants a nurse. She's... That'll help um, with her passing the placenta as well. Is if the baby starts nursing, that'll... Um, Release the oxytocin naturally. Yeah, it will make her warm too. The classroom will warm her up. Shall I go get a towel for her? Okay, are you hear some already? You are good at this, honey. Who is again? You are good. You're there. The baby's good too. She's so funny. She's like licking all around the udder, but. Are those my children screeching? Yeah. They are. Maybe they're just laughing. There you go. She's nursing. That quick, people. That is how quick they start nursing. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I love that stripe. I will never huh? I love that stripe. I, I know, never it's got white down the center of it. I'm starting to notice as it gets drier. Uh-oh. She's not noticing anymore. 
you sleeping, man? She says, I can't stand up yet. Mom, are you about to push again? I see red stuff. You know, your baby nursing will help you. It'll help you have bigger and better contractions. I would love to have that. Maybe that's why she doesn't want to nurse. I want to have a baby. That might have been it though, looking at her. I'm trying to imagine another one in there. Too cute. I, well, I think she's got room for another in there. You can bump. That's a test that you put your arms under them and go like that and push the belly up and feel the bounce back. And if it feels like something solid hitting your hand, then is a baby still in there? And if you don't feel it, then there's not a baby. But not very... If you haven't felt it before, it's really hard to feel it. I have never felt it before. <laughs> yeah. You're also only five, baby. <laughs> the little tail's going already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's cleaning me. You're sucking on her udder. Suck on her teeth. That might get you somewhere. You don't want a mouthful of hair. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you figure it out. She's like, I can't do it when you hold me. Mama just wants to clean, 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 clean. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually move you off of this wet spot. Yeah, I'm just gonna move you over here. There we Mama, go. Follow It'll be easier to keep her warm. Mama follows the baby. Yeah, Mama will always stay with the babies. The babies make it easy to handle the mom. <laughs> She's got all that oxytocin running through her blood right now. There's red stuff Does the shivering in partially come from the exhaustion too? <laughs> because the ba for the baby, you still think it's hard to work too, right? Yeah. Well, the fact that she's oh, laying down, she mama. might be Mama's laying down too. I've never seen the baby shiver that much, actually. Okay. Got me a little bit worried that the baby's a little bit cold. Let me just put a little Mama's warming it up, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We don't play with that baby. That's a, yeah. yeah, that's icky. It's got lots of that light on it, baby. What was it used to be? Well, it's, it's a fly catcher. It's a fly catcher. flies. Oh. It's stuck on it and then it fly around it. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I was just going to get her close enough she could nurse while you were laying down. What do you think, Ryan? I think... The shivering. Uh, I think that we can close this door and stop the draft. It's not really windy, though. And there's actually sunshine coming through there. I feel air moving past me. I do, too. Camera and you can go get. Oh, uh -oh. never mind. Something else is happening. Oh yeah. More liquid just came out. I see a bubble. Whether it's placenta or baby, she's pushing like it's a baby. The strength of which she's pushing makes me think it's a baby, not a placenta. Placenta is pretty easy to push out. Yeah, it comes out as a bubble. Let me see my camera. Get that bubble. All right, I think we have another baby coming.
There's a bubble presenting and she's pushing pretty hard for that bubble. So she's doing an amazing job of cleaning off the baby. I know, huh? She's was, a good mom. It was Those ears. Oh my goodness. And that stripe down her back. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. She might be the prettiest goat we've ever had. <laughs> well, Precious is pretty pretty. That's a hard one to beat. Oh yeah. Something inside the bubble. Do you see it? I can't see it yet. Well, I don't know. Something inside the bubble. I don't know what it's. Do you see it? Oh yeah, I see something now. A baby. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, we got a baby. Oh, cool. what? Another baby. Oh, the baby's moving. <laughs> oh, you're okay, baby girl. Oh, this hurts, huh? Don't worry. Oh, not me. I didn't have a chance to Google our list of names we're going to choose from. It's going to be something from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Come on. It looks like almost the entire head is in the bubble because I think that's an ear pressed on the outside for those of you that can see. Oh, the baby moved. Oh, and the water broke. Bubble broke. All right, let's get that baby out so I don't have to get all nervous about the baby starting to breathe. Both feet are forward, so that's good. This one didn't have both feet. That kind of made me nervous. The, you see how clear the fluid is? It's no longer yellow. This baby definitely didn't poop. I don't want you to accidentally get stepped on, baby. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful baby. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Clear that nose off as fast as I can with mama's help. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful baby. Oh my goodness. How have we gotten so lucky? Oh, kitty. Floppy ears, but the ears are dark colored. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't think it's possible for, for one to be ugly. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is there such a thing? Mm. If it was the matcha, then I would say yeah. Oh. I want, I like them. It's like a cream color with the dark ears. Shall we name it creamy? Let me get it out of this puddle for you. Out of the puddle. Yeah. It'll be easier to clean the baby off. And it's a boy. Hey, guys. <laughs> it might be nice to have a boy. See what I told you, Maya? There might be a girl and a boy. I like the girl. I like the boy. They're both really cute, huh? But they're not too good because it's floppy ears. Dirt. Yeah. It would be funny if they can stand up like a like. Her. Look at her, hers are already like to an airplane. I'm just bringing her to you. Yeah, we got them both together for you. Almost. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, little one. Oh, they're gonna be airplane ears. Do you see the ear control? <laughs> She's like <laughs> pointing her ears up. I love the girls. They're both adorable, my. <laughs> oh, I love it. What do you think? Can I have a hundred more goats, Ryan? <laughs> And a peacock. And a bison? Was that what we decided? Buffalo? 
Away hey, from that water, I don't need you getting wet. <sighs> Mama loves her molasses water. We're warming the babies up with a warm towel. Looks like Scrumptious is warmed up and falling asleep already. <laughs> that worked, huh? Mama drank every last drop of that water instantly, and the little boy is hungry still, so we're gonna get the little boy nursing. The baby's That is sweet. Look at little Scrum, she's going to sleep. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Kitty, for beautiful new babies. All right. Say goodbye to Cinnamon and Parsley. Next time you see them, it'll be at Daybird Aviaries on YouTube. Help. Along with the Chew Car Partridge. And anytime we sell a goat or get rid of a goat to someone, we always give them our feed mix to mix in with their new feed mix so they don't get a shock to their system. And three days worth of dewormer to make sure that the stress doesn't cause a worm load. Ryan also got some of our hay to mix into their hay as they adjust to their new diet at their new home. I'm gonna miss these babies. But at least I get to watch them on YouTube, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeremiah says hi. Well, y'all, this has been a very, very eventful and fun-filled day. Packed with lots of visitors coming to the farm. Lots of people helping us and lots of people getting to watch these brand new babies being born. I'm going to leave a link to the video. It was done live by Daybird Aviaries. And I'm so glad that he was able to capture this moment live for us and that we can share it with you guys. So go check out his channel, give him a like, subscribe to his channel, and remember that he is my buddy. So I wanna see everybody do that for me. Right, Kenny? You liked him too. So please enjoy watching that video. And thank you for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.